Hello everyone, welcome to the story behind the photo. And our special guest today is Mr. Alan Hess. How, how are you? I'm good, it's great good. to be here. Good, I saw you wandering around last night. You were enjoying the Vegas weather at night, I suppose. It, it's nice and warm and it was a nice little walk home, well yeah. walk home, walk back to the hotel sure. from, from an event. Sure. And, uh, I, yeah, it was kind of cool. I actually for the first time saw that like welcome to Vegas sign because oh, I walked right by it. I usually, <laughs> usually never see it. And there was it was crazy because there was like 500 people out there taking oh, photographs sure. of it at like All 10 o'clock at night. I was like, this is crazy. But, it is crazy. Well, um, cool. So I'm, I'm excited to talk today because you're in this kind of interesting situation where you do a lot of pet photography and concert photography right. is your main, you know, that's your bread and butter. Yeah. So I'm really interested to hear what your favorite photo is. Uh, my favorite photo, it tends to change. <laughs> you know, I, like I'll, I'll be like, oh, this is my favorite one right now. But there's been a, there was a photo I took of Roger Waters performing The Wall live in concert that um, the minute I saw it, the minute I actually captured it in my brain, I went, I've got the shot. I've, I've got the shot I was looking for. And um, it's actually printed 20 by 30 and sits above my desk in my office. Oh, cool. And it's, so it's, it's the photograph that it's like when I look up from my desk, it's, it's right there, you know, above my head all the time. And it's been there since the show. Um, and it was one of those moments where, first off, I never, I, the night before the show, I was so nervous to shoot it that I barely slept. Because usually I'm like, oh, I'll be in there, I'll be able to nail it. But it was, to me, Roger Waters doing The Wall was like this, this epic album's music that I grew up with that really like kind of was the first album that I listened to over and over again on vinyl. You know, you had that double album, you open up, you read it. And so it was, it was like, I'm gonna shoot someone that is so iconic in my mind, in my history, that I have to get the shot. I, like, I was so paranoid for it. So, so. how'd you do it? Uh, one, I took three cameras, <laughs> and I had a, I had my 70 to 201, a 24 to 70 on a second body, and then a 16 millimeter fisheye on a third body. Wow. So I was absolutely covered for those, you know, <laughs> I, which actually became really complicated because I, I was trying really hard to like grab the right camera and the rest yeah. of it. But um, they start building the wall. Um, they actually, it's these big white blocks, and they physically build the wall behind him during the show. So he's performing, and through the whole first half of the show, they create this wall, and it stretches behind the whole stage. And then they use it as a screen to project stuff on later on in the show, and then the finale is when they actually push the wall over, and it comes crashing down onto cool. the stage and in the oh, audience. Wow. So it's a real like production, the Pink sure. Floyd thing. So as they're building the wall, he starts getting into the character, and that means that you know it's a very fascist and all political thing. So he puts on this black leather trench coat, and it looks very much you know Nazi Germany, and all these like images are like in your head, and they're starting to project things on the wall behind him as they're building it up. And there's a shot where he's holding the jacket and he stretched out his arm, and I was standing there, and it got him with his arm out, and the wall being built right behind him, and it stretches out, and I was just like in my head, I'm like. It's the character. You can tell that it's the wall. You can see the steps in it, and there's like some of the display going on it. And I was like, "Got it, bam!" And the arm yeah. came out. And so it it's it sits in my office, like I said, on the wall. The venue also printed it um, 22 feet by 12 feet, and it wraps one of the walls. Wow. So every time I walk into the building and I go to work, I see one of my favorite images and oh. when they asked me which images we should put up on the wall there wasn't even like a discussion we weren't going to have oh this one or this one or this one it's like here it is take it or take it we're not going with anything else this oh, is yeah. going to end right and everyone walks by it and looks at it and um, the interesting part in the venue is it sits on a wall like this and Roger Waters is leaning out and he's got his arm out and the matching wall next to it we have Jay-Z Completely different performer, completely oh, different yeah. show, and he's sitting there with his arm going the other direction. So when oh, the two are together, we have like two performers kind of mirroring each other, awesome. and so we came this. And, and I'm I'm hoping it stays up there for a very long time. Oh, that's and I'm, so cool. it's actually one of the images I'm most proud of too. But good for you. That's great. Yeah. And you had you had something else you want to talk about, kind of a general. Well, yeah. So one of the things I get asked a lot, and it's one of those questions that I, I find very difficult to answer. Someone always goes to me. They never ask me what my favorite image is, but they always ask me what was my favorite band to shoot. Like what was my favorite. You know, it's like there's some band out there that's going to be like, oh my God, that was the best band ever. And the reality is that the, the, the shoot I'm most excited about is always the next one. Sure. Everyone's always like, oh, what was your favorite band? I'm like, well, it's the next one. Yeah. And they're like, why? I'm like, because if you're not excited about what you're doing, mm -hmm. then you probably shouldn't be doing it, especially if you're getting paid very, very little to do it. So I always like, I have a couple of shoots coming up and it doesn't matter what the bands are. I'm like, that's the one that I'm jazzed about. The one that's done was great but the one that's coming up is the one that I'm 
really getting excited about because I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to come out. I don't know what's going to, you know, that excitement always drives me. Yeah. So it's always one of those things like, what's your favorite band issue? And everyone always wants me to say like, what their band is, you know? Oh yeah, you know, it was like Fun Cher time. was, yeah, <laughs> Cher was fantastic, you know. Sure. Roger Waters was fantastic. Yeah. Um, you know, I shot The Who. I shot all these really kind of cool, great names. I was, I did a whole bunch of stuff, you know, on The Grateful Dead and those eras back then. But my favorite concert issue will be the next one and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And that's kind of how I, you know, that's what keeps me motivated. For sure. So, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you for sharing sure. that. Sure. So where can people find your work? AlanHessPhotography.com. It's A-L-A-N? A-L-A-N-H-E-S-S Photography.com. .com. It's a nice blog. I, I do a blog. All my links are from there. You can get to my portfolio. You can get to everything right from that little homepage. And, uh, Hopefully you go visit, and hopefully there'll be new content soon, because awesome. um, I've got a bunch of shows coming up, and I hope to be posting about them. Perfect. Well, I definitely encourage people yeah. to check out his work. He's a pretty cool guy, too. So <laughs> thank you. It's a good mix. Well, thank you so much, well, Thank Alex. you very much. Thank you.